Hello, hockey fans. Sorry I'm a little bit late with this, but um, I had a pretty busy night <laughs> tied up. Uh, I was I was flipping through the channels, uh, watching a lot of things, uh, March Madness, hockey, and some of the primetime television, but um, while also participating in um, a few Twitter spaces, which were, which were fun. Hadn't done that in months. But um, I bring good news for the world in the NHL. Uh, so I vented in my last in my last celebratory video that when the Bruins clinched, I thought I said it's going to be a long time for another team wraps up a spot because they were too far ahead. They were too far ahead of the rest of the league. They still are. Um, but after twelve days, twelve days. Uh, I think it's. I think it's so. Yeah, after twelve days, another team joins the playoff party. Congratulations to the Carolina Hurricanes. Uh, the Canes locked in a spot, though they had to back in to get it. Um, Carolina entered last night needing a win to get in. That's all they needed was a win. They had three other ways to get in. Two of them included, two of them included losing an overtime or shootout. While the other, the, the other, the, well, there was one other that involved them getting in, even if they failed to get a point. That's exactly what happened, though. They faced the Rangers for the second time in three days. This time the game was in Raleigh. And, um, this time the game's in Raleigh. So, um, the, um, they, they lost that game 2-1 to one at home. But they got help elsewhere. They needed to afford the Panthers to lose in regulation. And that's exactly what happened. The, uh, Panthers were crushed. Uh, 62 by the Toronto Maple Leafs. And it's party time in Raleigh. They're in the playoffs for the fifth straight year. Amazing, isn't it? Hard to believe. Hard to believe that this team actually went nine seasons without a playoff, without uh, making the playoffs. And, of course, 2019, they broke that that skid. And they're a perennial playoff team. I don't think they've... I think since the team moved, they haven't really been much of a perennial playoff team. I want to say they were quite a... I want to say even though the Hartford Whalers were kind of hard to luck, they did make the playoffs quite a bit. But, but yeah, this is, this is a big stretch. The Hurricanes... This is their fifth straight year in the playoffs, but let's look back at what they've done with the last with the last four. Okay, 2019 is when the streak started, and uh, of course that was unfortunately that was the last time that John Forslund called any Hurricanes playoff games. He called that whole series and um, the seventh heaven line for Game Seven when they eliminated the then defending champion Capitals in Washington. They went all the way to the conference. They went all the way to the Eastern Conference Final that year, where Boston swept them. That was 2019. 2020, it was the bubble playoffs, that, that insanely f uh, fun uh, that fun postseason. Uh, Carolina was in the qualifying round. They swept the Rangers. It was the only one of those. It was it was the only one of the eight qualifying round series that ended the sweep three straight. It was the best of five. But Boston beat them again in round one. Of course, the last two years, the last two years, the Elite Eight has been their downfall. They were defeated in five games in 21 by the eventual cup champions, the um, the Tampa Bay Lightning. Last year, however, was the loss to the Rangers, and that was devastating. They want to really make up for that because I remember that. Because uh, I remember that that was the year Carolina couldn't Carolina couldn't lose at home, but they sure as hell couldn't win it on the road. Uh, and they lost Game Seven on, at, at home, and that was it. Um, obviously the, the Hurricanes are looking to avenge that because that that's that's damning to be eliminated in Game 7 at home. Sadly, as an Avs fan, I can relate to this. But, um, but, um, but yeah, um, they, they definitely have the tools to do it. The goaltending still is, is still as good as it was last year. And they've got the key pieces, Ajo, Kokaniemi, uh, Natchez, Teravide, and those special cops off for, out for the season. So, um, should be interesting to see, should be interesting to see where that, uh, how far they go, if they really get far. So, um, oh boy. So, um, 
So, so the Hurricanes are officially playoff bound. So the Hurricanes are officially playoff bound, and um, so that's two down, fourteen to go. One in the Metro, one in the Atlantic. Nobody in the um, nobody in the West has clinched a spot yet. Um. So nobody in the West has clinched the spot yet, and um, no divisions have been clinched. Though Boston actually did have the chance to clinch the Atlantic, they've already clinched at least second place in the Atlantic. They had the chance to clinch the Atlantic. They did win, but Toronto's win aforementioned victory uh, kept that from happening that night. So that important piece of the of the bracket has not been filled in yet. But um, of course, it bought, of course. A division clinch means Boston would face one of the two wild cards. We don't know which one yet. But back to Carolina. So Carolina is in a tight race in the Metro right now. They have they have a hundred points. They were the second to reach a hundred uh earlier this week. <sighs> but the race is tight. They're only two points ahead of New Jersey. And they are only now six points ahead of the Rangers with that as a result of the game last night. Um Carolina has played the fewest games. They played seventy. New Jersey's played seventy-one. And the Rangers and, and the Rangers uh, win over Carolina was game number seventy-two. So the Rangers kind of uh, run out of time a little bit to catch, um, get that first spot in the Metro. But um, so yeah, it's uh, the coast race means it's going to be a while before um, Carolina uh, clinches more of an advantage, but. Uh, the standings do kind of say they have a good shot at winning the Metropolitan Division. They just got to get more wins together in the final 12. So, anyway, again, congratulations to the Hurricanes. They are playoff bound. And as I said before, that's two spots down and 14 more left in the final 21 days. Yeah, well, 22 days counting today. But, uh, <sighs> but, there, are th but yeah, there are three weeks left of the season. So, it's going to be interesting to see... Um, how that how that folds. So anyway, that's my video. Again, once more, once more, congrats to the Canes. Um, we could get a clinch today, so I'll be so I'll be back if that happens today. But I will definitely recap everything for the last week on Sunday. So stay tuned. Oh, I forgot to tell you one. Uh, do the combo thing. One more thing. Uh, <laughs> one more thing. Uh, in the description below, my story about the Hurricanes clinching will be in there. Check it out when you can. I'll be back. Possibly later tonight, but I'll definitely be on Sunday. So stay tuned.